Today's special guest is celebrity chef and TLM personality, David Rocco. Welcome, benvenuto. Ciao, good to be here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. David, the holiday season is basically here. Um, how does the, this holiday season look for you? Who would have thought we would be here, <laughs> you know, thinking about not celebrating the holidays with, uh, you know, loved ones and family, but here we are. Um, I think like many people, we are figuring it out. We are trying to stay safe and, you know, also uh, be safe for, uh, you know, our elderly parents and, um, and, you know, like someone said, and, and like we've all been kind of going through the whole year, we're in this together. So, um, there's no use uh, getting frustrated, but just accept it and uh, you know stay safe. David, there might be restrictions as per number of family members allowed in our gatherings, but the food, I, I bet in our house, there's gonna be lots of food. Well, yes, definitely restrictions. And uh, there is a good chance we'll be just celebrating it with immediate family, with my wife and kids. And, and food's always been an important kind of element for the holidays. And I think, you know, growing up, my mom would often cook and like many Italians, a lot of food. And it wasn't so much that we, you know, we could have stopped after the second or third dish, but we kept on, you know, having those dishes served to us because I think it was a way of continuing that tradition and, and passing it along to, to, to us as young kids. And, and that's really what memories I have of Christmas. And, you know, it's the, the long table with the uh, tangerine, the chestnuts, these truffoli, things like that, that this year, if we don't celebrate it in a, in a larger format and we're just have our immediate family, I still wanna be able to make those, prepare those dishes that are unique to Christmas that are about memories and childhood memories. So I'll be definitely doing those for my kids uh, for this year, regardless of how, how many people will be invited, uh, if any. David, uh, which recipe, which food symbolize uh, for you uh, the holiday season? Oh, that's, uh, that's definitely has to be uh, bacala frito, you know, fried bacala with uh, olives and capers. Oh, so good. Uh, that's definitely a memory. We also have stuffed calamari, which uh, is, is our favorite all year round. But those were two dishes that we had. And I think on the, on the dessert front, you know, there's the panettone for sure, the chestnuts. But being from the south, uh, the Neapol, you know, being Neapolitan, the struffoli, the honey balls of, you know, little fried doll, uh, balls of, um, of dough that are crispy and then bathed in honey with a little, um, with a little um, candy on top and all that. that. That to me screams Christmas and that is going to be a must um, on our Christmas table for sure. David, you travel the world and, and your shows are a testimony to, to that. What's the, the, the most unique, different Christmas you, you've ever lived? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, Christmas is sacred. So we're always home at Christmas. And, you know, certainly we want to spend it with family in past years. We did have one, you know, beautiful experience being in Florence. And in fact, we filmed a, a very Rocco Christmas that's currently on TLN now. I had lots of hair and my, my twin daughters were, I think, uh, six months old at the time. And just being in Florence in a city that's already magical, lit up in Christmas lights and, and, and big Christmas trees in the Piazza del Duomo or the uh, Piazza Signoria was special. And, you know, it was the magic that you have in the air and every city has it where, you know, you go out, you might run into someone, but you stop off for the aperitivo, the cappuccino, Christmas shopping, all that kind of excitement. And uh, for, for Nina and I, it was special. It was our first year the twins were, were born and were celebrating Christmas and we were in Florence and what better place to be. Of course. David, uh, a message to all our viewers for this holiday season. No, oh, absolutely. It's, um, you know, to, to all Canadians and TLN family, TLN viewers, it's been a, a tough year. And, uh, you know, know that this is only going to last a short time and we're at the final stretch. So, you know, uh, we want to wish everyone a, a health, a healthy Christmas, uh, you know, a, a beautiful Christmas and really make the most of it because 
this will be a memory for all of us to uh, to keep in uh, in future years that maybe we can laugh at and say, boy, the Christmas that we had to be in quarantine. So in the end, we're in this together. We make the most of it. And I think with a, a good Christmas dinner and some good wine, we could look back and say, it was a decent Christmas. Thank you for your time, David. My pleasure. Bon, bon Natale.